All right, so I get quite a few questions about customizing and ungrouping clip art and PowerPoint. So I'm going to kind of walk you through the basic steps. And then it's just a matter of uh, trying to replicate those and practice those yourself. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we can click on the uh, clip art option in PowerPoint. Now I'm using PowerPoint 2007, so I have the ribbon. But if you're working in the other version of PowerPoint, you're going to uh, have a different clip art option. But go ahead and click on that. Now what you want to do is you can use this search for clip art in here, but I typically will just go to the office online. So you can click this link and what that's going to do is take you to um, the clip art section here in PowerPoint. And then um, when you do your search here, you'll notice you've got a few options. So you can do all media or just clip art. And so if you don't want the photos, uh, just make sure you select clip art. So we're going to do business just so we can uh, narrow down our search. So we'll just do business. Then I'm going to make sure I mark just clip art and then I'm going to do a search for business. Now um, what I like to do when I'm looking for clip art that I can customize is I want to find clip art that's part of the same style. So like let's say these people right here. I kind of like this clip art style. So I'm going to click on it. And when I click on it you'll notice it's going to give me the properties for the clip art. And one of the things you'll see is that this has a style. Now not all clip art has styles. Some of them, even though they look the same, they're not associated in the same style group. So you won't have this option available to you. But in this case we see that style 1280 is available or it, there is a style 1280. So let's go ahead and click on that. And what that does is now it opens up all the clip art of the same style. And what I like about that is I can then take a clip art, even like uh, say this person for example she's in a shopping environment but I kind of like that she's dressed casual and maybe I want to combine her with a, a business person so I can go ahead and ungroup her so let's go ahead and do that I'll show you how we would do that so we're going to select this clip art here and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hit the copy and then I'm going to come back into PowerPoint and let me shut this down we're going to control V for pasting it and there's our clip art it's really big so let's go ahead and scale it down. Um, for some reason it, it got all scrunched up. Um, so what we're going to do is just we'll unscrunch it here. I don't know why it got scrunched up. But um, let's go ahead and take this. We're going to scale it down because it doesn't matter. Uh, and let's um, zoom in here. So we've got our clip art. She still looks a little scrunchy. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to ungroup it. So you just right click on it. And if you can ungroup the clip art, now not all of them allow you to do this. If you can't ungroup it, you'll see the option here. So just go ungroup. And then now it's converted and you can ungroup it again. And now you can start to take things out. So let's say we want to take out the entire uh, blue background. So we can do that. And let's get rid of the dress stuff. And so you can see I'm just clicking and deleting. And um, now I've got the person separated. Let's say I don't want the purse, so I'm going to get rid of this too. So I can click on that. And you can see, um, I think that's her purse strap. No, that's part of her hair. So you can see now I've got this clip art, and I can use the clip art any way I want to. I could even, if I wanted to, um, we'll just exaggerate it here, but I could rotate her arms uh, down. Now, obviously, I'd have to fix. Uh, this other arm, but you get the idea. So um, you can work with the clip art that way. You can recolor things. So if you want to, you can recolor the hair. So um, you recolor the shirt and just click on an object. Let's fill it with um, light blue. So you can see I can recolor it and then I would just click on the parts uh, that also need to be recolored. And one of the things is don't be afraid to use the paint formatter um, where you would just click on something here and then uh, use the format painter and then you can uh, copy the attributes of one object and apply it to the other. So that's good if you're going to change skin tone and you have multiple things you have to click on. So that's basically it. Once you're done, just go ahead and group it together and then you can apply you know, different effects. So let's say we're going to do a drop shadow and I can see there's an extra clip art piece. So I'm going to remove that and we've got that and I can um, keep it the way it is now or I can right click and save it as a picture and then I have it as an image file rather than a clip art image.